In this video we begin discussing the changes to the slideshow editor class which as you know allows you to create a slideshow and edit an existing slideshow as well. Now our first set of changes occurs with the on activity result method that gets called in response to some other activity that was launched from here returning back to this activity. And We've created a couple of new request codes for this version of the app. At lines 71 and 72, you see here video ID and take picture ID as well. And that's because the activities that we launch from the slideshow editor are going to allow us to now choose an existing picture, choose existing music, choose an existing video, or actually take a picture as well and we need to know which type of activity is returning to us so that we know how to process that in on activity result so uh, the first thing we check in this method of course is to see whether the result code code is result underscore ok meaning that the launched activity returned and executed properly and then inside here we get the URI for the data that's returned by the uh, returning activity and we have an if else if structure that checks the request codes to figure out how to process what's being returned. If the request code is picture ID, take picture ID, or video ID, then what we want to do is create a media type object uh, that's either video or image. We then want to add a new media item uh, to the slideshow for that specified type and for the location that was returned we use again the string location not the actual URI object and then we update the list view by calling the adapters notify dataset changed and of course separately for the music ID we set the music path on the slideshow 